a beautiful fall day. I mean, look at all the leaves on the tree, the sun in the air. It's not raining. Just kidding. But it's still fall, and today we're celebrating fall here in Bridgewood Kids. And so to do that, we thought we'd have a good old-fashioned donut eating contest, but the donut just isn't on a plate. It's bobbing from a string. Makes it harder. So are you ready, Taryn? Are you ready, Christine? Here we go, it's about to go down. First one to eat their donut wins, and this is how we celebrate fall. from heaven from a week ago. right now like a water some apple cider to wash this down wow man I think I got indigestion that thing that, that little clap is real real metal ah. yeah like what you need like you need We're so excited to have you here with our Bridgewood Kids online experience. We're getting ready to send you to some worship in just a few moments. But before we do that, 
we got to let you in on our social media platforms. Follow us if you're not already doing so at Bridgewood Kids on either our Facebook or Instagram pages. So much stuff is there that can keep you connected to Bridgewood Kids all throughout the week until you get to hang out with us each and every weekend. And now it's time to get into some awesome worship. Here it comes. When night has fallen, when fear is calming, still you're calling me. When faith is lost and my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not good enough, God, you're enough for me. I've decided I'm not giving up, cause you won't give up on me. You won't give up on me. Your love is holding on and it won't let go. inside this backpack. Wow, that's a that's a very nice backpack. You have very everything nice. though? Well, I'm missing one important thing. Okay, well let's check it out and see what else that you are missing because you know, you do need a lot when you go across the desert. Um, do you I have, have a, a I, flashlight? Yes. Do you have some water? Absolutely. Do you have some pizza? Of course. Okay. A map, well, I got it all. Okay, just well, except one thing. What? What I'm missing? is a friend. Oh. So, if you were going hiking across the desert like me, would you want to go alone or would you want to go with a friend? Well, I would definitely want to go with a friend. Travel is so much fun when you have more people with you, especially if you have a guide, somebody who knows where they're going. Mm. 
Absolutely. And if you're going across the desert, you definitely want to go with someone who knows where they're going. Someone who can guide you, who can protect you. Because there's a lot of creepy things out there. Those are really creepy. Well, in our big God story today, we are going to learn about how the Israelites also needed a guide. They needed somebody to help them go through the desert. Remember when they had no food or water? Last week, we heard about how God provided water and food for his people after they left Egypt. Oh, okay. So we're getting started with our lesson now. Yes, we can go hiking later though. Okay, well, God did not just give his people anything. He gave them something super important, something they needed, and that was his presence. He was near them and comforted them. But God is not a human being, so he showed his presence in a different way. It was a pillar of cloud and fire. This pillar looked like a cloud during the day and looked like a fire at night. God was present in the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. He traveled with them on their trip from Egypt to their new land. The cloud just didn't travel with the Israelites, but God also guided them. Have you ever been in your parents' car and you hear something like this? Recalculating. God is like a GPS, but much better. God knows everything. He knows where the roads are now. He knows where they'll be 10 years from now. He never has to go recalculating. He just knows God never has to stop. He knows everything. It must have been wonderful to have God as their guide and GPS. God showed them where to camp to find water. He helped them find the best route through the desert. He knew every dune, every way to go, every turn. He protected them, he kept them safe, and he showed them exactly where they needed to go. Absolutely. The Bible tells us that when the pillar of cloud moved by day, the people followed. And when the pillar of fire moved by night, the people followed. But when both of those stayed still, the people knew to stay. When God wanted his people to travel, the cloud and fire would move. When God wanted his people to camp, the cloud and fire would stay in one place as long as the Israelites should camp there. We know that God was in the pillar of cloud and fire to help guide the Israelites. But did you know that he was also in the cloud and fire to protect them? Hmm. Do you remember what happened when the Israelites needed to cross the Red Sea? Pharaoh's army was chasing them and the Israelites were afraid they might be captured or killed. But just when it looked like the Egyptians were going to capture the Israelites, the pillars of cloud and fire moved from in front of them, guiding them, to behind the Israelites to protect them. Exodus 14, 19b through 20 says, the pillar of fire and cloud stood between the Israelites and their enemies. That night, the cloud and fire protected the Israelites by giving them light and by hiding them from the Egyptians. God's presence protected the Israelites. All during the rest of their trip, the Israelites could look up and see evidence of God's presence. They knew when to rest and when to travel they knew God could protect them when they needed his help. Did you know that God hasn't changed? He's still among his people. And when we invite Jesus into our hearts, he is our savior, our protector, and our guide. You may see God in a cloud or in a fire, or you may not. Either way, God hasn't changed and he is still with us. Have you asked Jesus into your life? When you do, he becomes your guide and your protector and brings you into a right relationship with God. 
Just as the pillar of fire and cloud did not leave the Israelites alone in the wilderness, once you ask Jesus into your heart and life, he will not leave you alone in life. That's right. And Jesus said that the Holy Spirit would come and live in us. So God's presence never leaves us because he's actually living inside of us. And so we're going to end by praying today. God, we thank you so much that as we read your word, we know that you guided the Israelites. And Lord, we're grateful and happy to know that you also guide us in an even cooler way than it was for the Israelites. Not only are you in front of us and behind us, but you're inside us, God. We love you so much. We're grateful for who you are. And I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
kids, we are getting ready to do a segment that we really love here with our Bridgewood Kids Online Experience. And what is it called, Christine? It's called Trivia, Trivia Time. Time. Yes, and today's answer for the first question can be found in Exodus chapter 13. So here is question number one. How did the Israelites know where to go? All right, and this next question is found in Numbers chapter 9. And here it is. How did the Israelites know when to camp and when to travel? And question number three, the answer can be found in Exodus chapter 14. How did the pillar of fire and cloud protect the Israelites at the Red Sea? And this fourth question is in Psalm chapter 119. And here's the question. How is God's word like the pillar of fire and cloud? Love the pillar of fire and cloud story shows God's protection and shows how he can guide us but Dallas we've got one more thing before we close this online experience we always like to leave you with one more thing and that is we want to be kids so close to Christ that everyone in the world will know him see you kids